Aircrafts that can land on sea and ice haven't been built commercially for more than 60 years. That's until now. Darwin is about to become the manufacturing hub for these marvellous machines under a new $10 million deal. Search and rescue, drug enforcement, pearling and more. These special planes can carry up to 28 passengers and land on a runway, the ocean or even on ice. We are entering into a new era of modern manufacturing and this is putting aviation manufacturing for the nation right here on display for Darwin. This is a really significant day for aviation in this nation. The minister says the manufacturing of the planes will create 300 jobs, including training for local people to build skills in the new industry. The company behind the aircraft, Amphibium Aircraft Holdings, says it's the first passenger aircraft approved by American air safety authorities to ever be manufactured in Australia. AAH says it hasn't finalised any orders for the planes yet, but there's been lots of interest, particularly from Southeast Asia. The Albatross is going to be a highly sought after aircraft for a range of different industries. Uh, tourism, when you have a look at aquaculture and the farming that happens uh, out there in the pearling industry, uh, search and rescue, um, surveys. The Airport Development Group, which has agreed to host the manufacturing precinct on land near Darwin's airport, says it will span acres. So there'll be a painting assembly and then electronic fit out and all the rest. It's quite exciting in the size of it. It's not a small project by any stretch. The first plane is expected to be completed by 2025. Kate Ashton, ABC News.